Good evening, everyone, everywhere. This is Ted Husing, ready to bring you from the St. Nick's Arena in New York City, another 10-round past Blue Ribbon event, a great Wednesday night feature. Tonight's Blue Ribbon bout, matched by the International Boxing Club, a 10-round heavyweight battle between those two seasoned veterans, Archie Moore of St. Louis and Toledo, and Jimmy Bevins of Cleveland. As we look into the ring right now, you'll see quite a galaxy of champions and near champions. And Johnny Addy, at this point, is about ready to step to the center microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, ring officials have been assigned here by the New York State Athletic Commission. Judges are Nick Gamboli and Jack O'Sullivan. Timekeeper, Fred Abatello. Referee, George Walsh. Main event, 10 rounds. From St. Louis, Missouri, wearing white trunks with black stripes, weighing 176 and a half, Archie Moore. Moore. His opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, wearing black trunks with white stripes, weighing 180 and a half, Jimmy Bivens. Bivens, main event, 10 rounds, final bout. Now, both you boys understand the rules under the supervision of the York State Athletic Commission. Now, I'm not in here to pull you apart or to break when I tell you. I don't want no deliberate holding. I want you to keep your bunches up, your gloves closed, and thumbs in at all time. In the event of a knockdown, I want you to go to a corner and stay there till I tell you to come out. Now, shake hands and give us a clean fight. Archie Moore, the top contender for the light heavyweight crown, worn by Joey Maxim, considered by many the uncrowned champion, is meeting no stranger here tonight in the person of Jimmy Bivens, the erstwhile contender for the heavyweight title. Archie Moore in the white trunks, Jimmy Bivens in the black trunks. Round number one here at St. Nick's Arena in New York. This is the fifth time these two boys have fought. Archie Moore holds three to one. Two knockouts in her decision over Jimmy Bivens who knocked out Archie Moore. Two minutes to go in round number one. best weapon is a straight right cross. Bivens is also a powerful right-handed puncher. One minute to go, round one of a 10 rounder here at St. Nick's Arena in New York. A minute to go, round one.
There's the end of round one here at the St. Nick's Arena. As for Archie Moore, in whose corner we now gaze, most of the boys try to duck this boy who is called the uncrowned light heavyweight champion. He's been a great fighter. He likes to throw that wing straight right cross. And Jimmy Bivens, who is on the comeback trail under the management of Ali Zack, fought a beautiful bout just 10 days ago against Tiger Ted Lowry down in Baltimore, a fight to which I listened, and he's in sharp condition as are both boys. Indeed they are, you'll see that. What do you have? They are the same height, 5 feet 11. And tonight, Jimmy Bivens outweighs Archie Moore by approximately four pounds. 176 and a half to 180 and a half. Round number two. newspaper men in the east are here for this fight tonight which gladdens the hearts of those who promote the matches in the gallery Milton Burrow believe it or not at ringside Bobby Clark and also A. Patel who lost his featherweight championship just 39 years ago tomorrow to Johnny Kilbane on his birthday he was born on Washington's birthday he'll be 68 years old tomorrow we'll spot them later Jimmy Bevan in the black trunks, the third man in the ring, George Wall. There's the bell ending round number two here at the St. Nicholas Arena. Darcy Moore goes back to his corner. We notice that Ava Tell is him very carefully. I like Archie Moore, who is called the uncrowned champion, is fighting his fifth fight with Jimmy Bivens. In the first fight, Bivens flattened him. In the next three fights, Bivens flattened Bivens twice and gained one decision. He's considered about the best around by the experts. He can box just as well as he punches. He's a sharp combination puncher. He can hurt his opponent with either hand, and that straight right cross of which we've been speaking is his most damaging wallet. Round number three coming up. Pass Blue Ribbon mighty happy to bring it to you here at St. Nicholas Arena in New York.
Two minutes to go in round number three. Archie Moore, Jimmy Bevins. It's a good mix, and Jimmy Bivens is trying to shift a bit in order to open up Archie Moore. number three. Bevan seems to be annoying Moore very considerably with that dangling left hand as you've been watching. Moore on the other hand seems to be lying back looking for that one big one. Round number four. Archie Moore in the white trunks. Jimmy Bevan's in the black trunks here at St. Nicholas Arena. but the records of the uh, men that Bivens has met would almost astound you if you've forgotten. He's fought the greatest, both in names and in performance. have had two bouts this year. They've won them both. Bivens seemed to have the better of his two bouts in sharpening up processes. to go of round number four.
was almost over round number four. There's the end of round number four here at St. Nick's Arena. Don't miss a thrill, and don't miss a Pabst Blue Ribbon beer while you're watching. Round number five here at St. Nick's Arena. Archie Moore, Jimmy Bivens. Moore fought in Panama just two weeks ago. The temperate change may have slowed him a bit. He doesn't look as sharp as he usually does. As I told you, Bivens has been fighting himself back into contention on a comeback trail under new management of Ali Zach. Number five here at St. Nick's Arena. Moore, who was sluggish early, certainly is animated now. He looks like he wants to fight. round number five. You can see Archie Moore is now getting a bit vicious, trying to punch out the bell, but of course that's a natural reaction when a man is mad. Where the excitement ought to begin in this fifth match between these two old-timers. Waltz wasn't in position to see that blow, which was slightly low, but not damaging.
boys must have bumped together. There's a slight touch of blood on Moore's head, just where the hairline begins. this late in the bout, Bevins continues to annoy Archie Moore. Mostly by that left. There's the bell ending round number six. Here comes the ninth round. Perhaps mighty happy to bring it to you here from St. Nick's Arena. heavyweight champion as a Charles three times and on all occasions made a tremendously sensational showing. Bivens holds decisions over two present champions as a Charles and Joey Maxim. to go in the ninth round. Bivens on the deck, he's getting up without a count, which may have gone to two. George Waltz is now calling Dr. Nardiello into the ring. Bivens tiring suddenly in the ninth round, seemed to hit his head very heavily when landing on the uh, canvas, and may have suffered enough of a concussion to have this fight ending, or ended at this point. So there is Dr. Nardiello now gazing, as you see, into his left eye as we watch the camera work. And Bivens hit that floor with that right hand that hit him on the temple. 
And so here is Dr. Nardiello as we watch him going over to see George Walsh. And this may be it. The fight is over. The winner by a technical knockout. At the end of the ninth round with his man on the deck suddenly picking himself up, Archie Moore, in what has been quite a fight.